Hello everybody! Today we will be making origami. Origami is a Japanese word that means folding paper. And that's exactly what are we going to do right now. For that you will need two pieces of paper. I'm using here two A4 paper. You will need also scissors and a marker. Now usually you ask me, Miss Imane, can I use a different color? Can I pick a different color? And the answer is yes, sure you can. Pick any color you want. You can also use origami paper. Here I'm using construction paper, but you can use also origami. Today we will be making a lovely, adorable cat and dog. I'm going to show you how to make that in origami. So get your materials and let's get started. The first animal I'll be making is a cat. I'll need to do what I need to do first is to fold my paper in two halves. Make sure the two lines are together. Today you're gonna make sure that you're using both hands and ten fingers. We're gonna make sure they will get stronger after this task. Once you finish you fold, you are gonna follow the line and cut out your paper in two parts. So these two parts, one half is going to be the head of the cat and one half is going to be the body. So I'm going to start with the head. To start, I will need to turn this little rectangle into a square. And for that, very easy, all I need to do is bring this corner right here, one corner down here. And where to stop? How do you know if you can stop here, here or here? Very easy. All you need to see, pay attention to these two lines right here. Make sure they are together again, joined together in one single line. Once it's, already, once it's done, then you can press here and fold. Now flip the paper, sorry, turn the paper and so you can hold this part here and follow the line again and cut the rectangle that is left on the side. We don't need it. Ta-da! Voila! You have a square, beautiful square. What to do? Bring the previous rectangle, put your square on the top and you will be tracing now to get a perfect one more. Oopsie! Perfect, one more square. Ta-da! Cut it out, same thing. Turn it, turn the paper and cut out the rectangle. I'm talking about this rectangle. Now you got two squares. Let's start making the face. I'm not gonna use the folded one, I'm gonna use the plain square. To start making the head of your cat, you have to start with one simple thing. You have to move your paper, your little square, from a square to a diamond. You want to see how it to do? Pay attention. All you need to do is to do 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 do. Ta-da! From a square to a diamond. Once you got the diamond, then you're gonna fold, start folding your paper to get a triangle from a diamond diamond, you're going to turn it into a triangle. Once you get your triangle, looks like a beak, now we are going to fold one more time and this time we're going to fold these two corners right here. These ones, yes, these ones. And how to do? We are going to flip them and turn them up. Make sure it looks like a like little tiny mountain here. But inside, we want these two mountains, little cute triangles, to be the ears of the cat. So, we want them to show, okay? Once you flip one side, you fold one side, put your finger here in the middle, and you're going to do the same thing and make sure it's symmetrical. Symmetrical means that both sides have the same shape and look similar. This is similar to this, right? I think it is. What do you think? Let me flip and turn. Mm, looks great. After that, I'm gonna fold the upper side, the upper triangle, 
I call it little mountain. I'm going to flip it inside here and make sure I have a horizontal line that looks a little bit like this. Horizontal, okay? Inside. Let me flip my shape now and see if it looks like a cat's hat. Ooh, I think yes. What do you think? I think it looks great. Maybe should I pull the ears a little bit up? If you think that the ears should show a little bit more, then you can go ahead and fold a little bit more up. But I think it was great. It looks more like a fox like this. I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> Ta-da! Done! If you think I'm going too fast, you can pause the video anytime. Now that I'm done with the head, I can start with the body. You remember the square we have made first? The folded one? The body part is very, very easy. You are gonna keep it folded just like we did in the beginning. Here, my left, my left hand is from where the paper is opening, the triangles are opening. Now I'm gonna make the tail and I will do the same thing. I'm gonna bring this corner right here outside up here. Once I get that, look at this. Ta-da! Looks like it's good. Let's draw some details and the details are gonna make it even better. So for the legs, I'm gonna start drawing the legs of the cat. For that you need to draw a big, big, big C, C, and a small, tiny baby C. toes and for the front legs I'm gonna draw two standing lines vertical lines one and two and another baby C baby C tuk, 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 tuk. what do you think about that all I need to do now is to paste the head. Maybe you would like to paste it this way, this way, this way. It's up to you. You choose. I'm putting a little bit of glue. Pasting the head. Ta-da! Now let's start with dog. <laughs> 